Good afternoon, boys and girls. Yeah, that's my my Lyman tumbler is going, but I've got don't have brass in there today. Don't hear all that tinkling and carrying on. Remember, I told you I had to powder coat some buckshot. That's what I'm out here doing this afternoon. I can try to stomach the heat out here next to the barn and out here in the back of the homestead. And I got some buckshot here in the tumbler, creating some static so that this powder coat will stick. tumbler you see why it helps hold that that powder in here the powder coat today i'm just using some harbor freight yellow we also got harbor freight red and i had uh, some folks uh, off of ebay that were selling some powder coat a couple of years ago that sent me some samples to uh to try out i don't even remember who it was now i just really wasn't working that much with the powder coat at that time but uh but anyway old Goodwill toaster oven. That's what I use to bake my bullets. All right, guys, stand by. All right. Let's see here. Looks like we got a real good coating on the bullets. There's so many variables with this, guys. Oh, you look on YouTube. You can enter powder coating bullets. Oh, those coated up real nice. And my Lord at the videos that pop up, there's a tons of different opinions that, that do it a better way or got to update it or a better way to do things. This is even an older type method. Uh, Fortune Cookie 45 LC, good friend of mine on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to his channel down here. He knows bullet casting, guys. That's, it's, he's just done this for years and years and years. He's over there on the shaky side in Cali, but he knows his stuff whenever it comes to cast bullets and stuff like that. He doesn't do anything much with the shotgun other than the slugs, but he does a lot of bullet casting. And anything that is cast, whether it be round ball or conical bullets, they powder coat up the same way. I'm going to break it down in a couple of batches and try to get as many of them not touching as possible. They break apart pretty easy. Sometimes, especially with the Harbor Freight Yellow, you may have to may have to coat them a second time. All right, we're gonna get them in the oven. Gonna set it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. This first set I'm doing is 33 caliber double alt, and I'm gonna also do up some 32 cal single alt and 31 cal single alt today. All right, let's get them in our toaster oven for 20 minutes. And we'll be back then. Looking good, looking real good. I missed Joanne going to bring me some pot holders. I can't, couldn't find my, my welding gloves. And that's the way it goes. Oh, be careful with that, honey. That's hot. Real hot and it's heavy. It's lead. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Right there on that, old, on that old towel right there will be fine. All right, let me kill this thing for a minute. There. Well, and we let those air dry. Those look great. I'm not going to have to uh, put a second coat on those.
I dumped the pellets out on this little hardware cloth apparatus I made here to, to hold the pellets and then just easily sift all the excess stuff out of it. All right. Now they're they're ready to go into the I'm gonna spread them out as much as I can. And don't worry if you knock a little bit of it off, it doesn't matter. These are the 32 cal. I think we paid eight dollars for this oven at Goodwill. All right, we'll get another 20 minutes rolling now, and the 32 cal will be done. There's our Harbor Freight Red 32 cal, and we're fixing to go in with the Ford Blue 31 cal. I'll show you what they look like when they come out, guys. Guys, one thing I was going to mention, you don't need a tumbler. If you look, oh, there's videos all over YouTube now um, on just using a bucket. Or you could use you could use any of these little peanut butter jars. You could use anything like that to put your pellets in and then your powder and just shake it up. That works. All you need to do is generate enough of a static charge to, for that powder to stick. I just like using my tumbler because I don't have to physically mess with it. I just dump it in there, put my color in, and we're good to go. But you don't need a tumbler to do this. Well, that Harbor Freight Red does an excellent job. That's one coat on those 32 cal. And the uh, Ford Blue is looking good, real good. It'll be coming out here in just a couple minutes. Got the 32 cal in here and just breaking them up. They easily break that, fall apart. And they look like little lipstick pieces. Ready to load them up. We're gonna have the blue out here in just a minute. You know, after 30 some odd years of being a heavy equipment and, and uh, automotive mechanic, I'm a Chevrolet man, but those Ford blue pellets show sure come out pretty, don't they? Well, folks, that is honestly all there is to it. That's it. It's not any more complicated than that. I'll put links to where I found this stuff down in the description, along with the blue powder that Rachel found for me for Father's Day off of uh, eBay. We're going to put a link to that as well down here in the description, guys. This is Wade Rush. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be heading back down to the range here very shortly. Bye-bye.